Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today I'm going to show you how I make this cute dress for 12 months to 18 months, even two years can wear this. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll put all my measurement on the fabric. I'm using this fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. I place a design, a butterfly, and the flower is like the butterfly is flying out from the pocket and going to the flower. This is how I make it. And for the strap, I just uh, stitch a button hole and I put my strap and I tie a knot. This is how it is once you have done making your own dress. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just stopping by, thank you so much for watching. Before you exit the video, click that red button that says subscribe. Make a comment down below if you have any questions. If my tutorial is helpful, thumbs up for your girl. And let's get started. <music> that we have to do we are going to measure our fabric i have already measured my fabric this is the front of my fabric and this is the back of my fabric when you're going to take the measurement of your fabric make sure you fold it into two before you take the measurement so mine is folded into two so you place your measuring tape like this the width of my fabric is 17.75 inch if you're using centimeter measure 45 centimeter the length of my fabric is 17 inches if you're using centimeter measure 43.5 centimeter so this is how i measure my fabric the next thing that you have to do you're going to fold your fabric all over again once you have fold your fabric into four places then you place your measuring tape like this from the very top of your fabric you measure down six and quarter inch like this i will just move down and measure it all over again six and quarter inch you can take your ruler just to connect those two marks together once you have measured six and quarter inch place your measuring tape again like this you're going to measure four and quarter inch so this is my four and quarter inch right here from this six and quarter inch place your measuring tape again we're going to take a measurement of 1.75 inch so this is my 1.75 inches right here so what you're going to do you're going to connect this to this point so you're going to form an armhole. Place your armhole curve. You just connect it together. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to connect from the armhole all the way down to the end right here. So you place your ruler, you just connect it down. Once you have done that, you can either move inside one centimeter or one and a half centimeter. I'll just move inside one, one and a half centimeter like this. So you just go ahead and curve it out. I will also use my armhole curve just like this. You place your armhole curve, you just go ahead and curve it out. You don't want the end to be sharp. So I have covered that. I will just put a few pins to secure the fabric in place in case I'm cutting the fabric. So go ahead and put a few pins just to secure the fabric. Once you have used your pin to secure the fabric, the next thing that you have to do is just to cut it out. So go ahead and cut out your dress that you're making. I have cut out my fabric, this is how it is. One for the front, one for the back. So this is how it is right now. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut our pocket. So I cut a piece of fabric right here. I'm going to attach a pocket on this dress that you're making. So I will place my ruler like this. I'm going to take a measurement of five inch by length and five inch width. Put them together like this. Just go ahead and trim it a little bit out from there. 
you just give it a little curved just like this this is how it is the next thing that we have to cut is your facing so you have to put facing on this dress that we are making so i just fold my fabric into two like this and this is my other fabric that i'm using for the facing i just place it on top of it like this so you just go ahead and place it on top of it i will just secure this with a pin once you have secured with a pin the next thing that you have to do is just to go ahead and trace it out you use your marker or whatever marker that you're using just go ahead and trace it out once you have traced it out remove the pins remove your dress so you now decide the width that you are going to take for the facing so for me i'm going to take two inches I will place my measuring tape like this. I will just measure down two inches all around from here also two inches. I have measured out my facing. I will just go ahead and cut it out. So when you're cutting the facing, make sure you cut two pieces because we are going to attach it on the bold side of the dress. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut our strap. So I fold my fabric into two like this. This is the front and this is the back. This is the fold side of my fabric. You take your measuring tape or your ruler. This is my ruler. So I'm going to take the width of one and a half inches. So you place your measuring tape or your ruler. You measure one and a half inches. Once you have measured one and a half inch, the length of your strap is seven inch. Take a measurement of seven inch. So this is my seven inch. You take your scissors or your rolly cutter, you just go ahead and cut it out. You're going to cut two pieces for the strap. First thing that we have to do, put your front fabric together so you decide which one you want it to be the front or the back we are going to cut a little bit out from the armhole so the armhole the front is deeper than the back armhole just go ahead you can measure 0 0.5 centimeter just go ahead and trim it out a little bit to cut a little bit out from the armhole also remember to also do the same thing with the front facing so this is my front facing i take it to my ironing board i iron interfacing on my facing this is my interfacing i've already ironed it on my facing so what you're going to do you put them together make sure both front fabric are facing each other so what you're going to do, you're going to pin around the top edge in the both armhole. I have pinned it in place. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch with the both armhole and the top edge. Once you have done that, trim a little bit out from the seam allowance and then turn it inside out and give it a good press. Once you have done that, then you take your strap to your sewing machine. Before you take it to your sewing machine, take it to your ironing board fold inside either half an inch or one centimeter and then fold it into two then you have a crease in between the fabric fold the raw edges inside for these other raw edges inside like this and then fold it again and you give it a very good press so this is how it will look once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch the both side and then you take the second pieces you repeat the same process once you have done ironing your strap together go ahead and stitch the bold side so go ahead and stitch them in place I have stitched it together this is how it is i turn it inside i'll give it a good press this is how the inside is remember to snip around the 
curved edge. All the armhole and the top edge, make sure to snip it all around, turn it inside out, take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. This is how it will look once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do, you take the back dress. This is my back dress. What you're going to do from the armhole, we are going to measure inside one centimeter. You place your measuring tape or your ruler from the armhole. You measure inside one centimeter is right here. And from this other side, you measure inside one centimeter is right here. So what you're going to do, you take your strap. That is why we have to first stitch our strap at the first place. You take your strap. You're going to place it at that one centimeter. Place it like this. You moved inside, not outside. You moved inside. You take your pin, secure that with a pin like this. And you repeat the same process on the other side. Moved inside, not outside the armhole. Secure it with a pin. Once you have done that, then take your facing. So this is my facing. Place it on top of it. You just go ahead and pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. So I have stitched my back dress. I turn it inside out and I give it a good press. This is how it is. And I also take my pocket to my ironing board i fold all the raw edges inside like this and i also zigzag it with my zigzag stitches and i take it to my sewing machine i just top stitch it all around to secure all these raw edges properly for the top you can fold inside one centimeter so for this pocket we are going to pin it on our front dress so i want two stitches around this pocket so that is why i first stitch it around first so when i place it on my pocket again and i'm going to top stitch all over again that means the pocket will have two stitches the next thing that you have to do you take your front dress so this is the front of our dress that we are making today we are going to take the measurement from the bottom of the dress so you take your measuring tape and your marker from the bottom of the dress i will take a measurement of three and a half inches three and a half inches is right here once you have done that from the side you're going to take a measurement of two and quarter inch from the side you measure two and quarter inch once you have done it like this this is my two and quarter inch and this is my three and a half inches so you place your pocket like this so you measure two and quarter, it's right here. Place your pocket. What you're going to do, go ahead and pin your pocket in place. Once you have pinned your pocket in place, if you're going to pin it on this other side, what you're going to do, place your pocket on top of each other, like this. Pick your fabric, fold it on top of each other, gradually so what you're going to do take your pin use it to pick it a little bit just to secure the pocket from this other side you just pick your pocket just gradually like that once you have done pinning then open your dress like this This is how it will look. So the both pocket are equal, both side, both side right now will be two and quarter inch. I will just measure that. So both side, both side is two and quarter inch. Just go ahead and secure it with a pin. Once you have secured with a pin, then you can remove the pin at the back of the dress. I have pinned my pocket in place. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. You come to this other side, go ahead and give it a top stitch all the way down. So go ahead and stitch your pocket in place.
I have stitched my pocket in place. This is how it is right now. I put two butterfly on the pocket. It's like the butterfly is flying out from the pocket and going to the flower. So it has a glue at the bottom. So I just take it to my ironing board and I press it on the fabric. I will still take it to my sewing machine and top stitch it all around. So I'm going to use the thread that matches the butterfly and i will also do the same thing with this one i will take a stitch it with a thread that will match the butterfly with i will do the same thing with the flower so this is how it is you can always decide to make your dress very beautiful in a different way the next thing that we have to do you put them together that is the back of the dress make sure both front fabric are facing each other what you're going to do you're going to pin the both side seam together so go ahead and pin the both side seam of your dress together i have pinned the both side seam together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch the both side seam with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that you can either also zigzag it with zigzag stitches to overlock the raw edges. Once you have done that, just go ahead and hem your dress. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and go ahead and top stitch it all around. Once you have done that, we can now stitch our buttonhole on the front of this dress that we are making today. So go ahead and stitch the both side seam and also hem your dress. I have stitched the side seam of the dress. This is how it is. And I also hem my dress around. I have hand my dress and I take the facing to my uh, sewing machine. I just zigzag it to overlock the raw edges and you push this side inside and you just stop stitch to secure the facing in place. And on the armhole side, push it inside and go ahead and secure the facing in place. Once you have done that, we are going to stitch a buttonhole on this dress that we are making. So what you're going to do to stitch your buttonhole, you need a buttonhole foot and you place your button on the buttonhole foot. So this is my button that I'm going to be using on this dress that we are making. So what you're going to do from the armhole measure inside one and a half centimeter. I have done that and you measure inside one and a half centimeter. I have done that. Once you have done that, then you take your button before you measure your button, also from the top of the dress, also measure one and a half centimeter. One and a half centimeter from the armhole, from the top, also measure that one and a half centimeter. Place your button like this. So once you place your button, mark your button. So I have marked my button. This is where I mark my button right here. And then I mark the mid part of the button. This is where my needle is going to stitch my button. I also do the same thing on this side. This is my button. I place my button like this and I just mark it like this. This is how I do it. And I mark the mid part like this. So this is where my stitches is going to be when I'm stitching the button hole. So go ahead and stitch your buttonhole on your dress. I have stitched my buttonhole. The next thing that you have to do, you take your pin, put it like this at the end of the buttonhole. Take your seam ripper, just put pocket like this and you open it like this. So this is the buttonhole. You take your strap, place it inside the buttonhole like this. So this is how it will look. You also repeat the same process on the side. Place your pin so that you don't rip off the buttonhole.
place your strap inside and tie a knot. This is how it will look once you have done making your old dress. It's very beautiful, easy to wear and very fast to make. This is how it finally looks. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell button so that anytime I upload, you will be the first to be notified. My tutorial is helpful. Thumbs up. Make a comment down below if you have any questions. And you all should have a beautiful day. Bye.